Hi, I'm Kyle Kobo at the Training Department. In the last video, we discussed ram fronts, and today we're going to show you where those ram fronts go in the blocks and then where they go in our BOPs. Today we're going to go over the ram fronts and inserting them into the BOPs and the blocks that they go in and when you would change them. So you would change them when you're stripping rams, uh, would wear out, or you may change them when you need to change different sizes of pipe. So whenever you're going from two and seven to two and three eighths. Today, we're gonna show you where those ram blocks and those inserts actually go inside our BOPs. These are ram blocks where the ram fronts will go. This is a, an undressed block with nothing in it so you can see where the ram front would fit. This one is dressed for two and three eighths. You need to change these out. Today we're gonna to change from two and seven eighths to two and three eighths pipe. We're gonna show you where these ram blocks fit inside the BOP. The first step in the process is to remove the four bolts that hold the BOP door shut. Once the bolts are loosened with a hammer and a hammer wrench, you can remove all eight of the bolts, four on each side by hand. Before opening the doors, We'll ensure that the bolts are fully disengaged by sliding them backwards and making sure no threads could get caught. Once all of your bolts are loose and you're ensured that no threads are engaged, we're ready to open the ram doors. Now the bolts are loose, the snubbing operator will slowly dial in his hydraulic pressure to allow the doors to open and we can then remove the blocks from the BOP box. Once the BOP doors are fully open, we then lock out the unit so no one can function the hydraulics. Then we reach in and remove each ram block and get ready to replace it with the new size. Here you can see I'm grabbing the new 2 and 3 8 blocks and placing them into the BOP. Now we'll begin closing the BOP door ensuring that the rams enter the BOP cavity and do not get stuck on the edges. Now that the doors are shut, we can go ahead and reinstall the BOP door bolts. Tighten each one, four on each side, a total of eight, and then we'll tighten them with the hammer wrench to make sure everything is good to go before our pressure test. At this point, you can now insert your joint into the stack, close your rams around it, pressure test, and continue on with operations. If anyone has any questions after watching this video, please reach out to a member of the training department or operations staff. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.